Okay, Repent and Repentance, the book of Deuteronomy. Okay. Turn to Deuteronomy chapter 32. We're going to start in verse 31. For their rock, lowercase r, for their rock is not as our rock, capital R, even our enemies themselves being judges. For their vine is of the vine of Sodom, and the field of Gomorrah. Their grapes are grapes of gall, their clusters are bitter. Their wine is the poison of dragons, and their cruel venom of asps. Is not this laid up in store with me, and sealed up among my treasures? To me belongeth vengeance and recompense. Their foot shall slide in due time, for the day of their calamity is at hand. And the thing that shall come upon them make haste, for the Lord shall judge his people and repent himself for his servants, when he seeth that their power is gone, and there is none shut up or left. And he shall say, Where are their gods? their rock in whom they trusted, which did, which did eat the fat of the sacrifices and drank the wine of their drink offerings, let them rise up and help you and be your protection. Okay. We're going to keep going there, but repentance. Okay, he repent himself for his servants. Number 39. See now that I, even I, am he, and there is no God with me, I kill, lowercase g God, in other words, there's only one God. I kill make, and make alive, I wound and I heal, neither is there any that can deliver out of my hands. For I lift up my hand to heaven and say, I live forever. If I wet my glittering sword and my hand take hold on judgment, I will render vengeance to mine enemies and will reward them that hate me. I will make mine arrow drunk with blood, and my sword shall devour flesh, and that with the blood of the slain and of the captives, from the beginning of revenge upon the enemy, beginnings of revenge upon the enemy. Rejoice, O ye nations, with his people, for he will avenge the blood of his servants, avenge the blood of his servants, and will render vengeance to his adversaries and will be merciful unto his land and to his people. Okay? This goes back to definition number four, you know, to change the course of provident provincial dealings, I believe. The people obey the Lord, put away false gods, God's going to be good to them and bless them. They bring in false gods, God's not. But more importantly, this is talking about the enemies, the pagans. Okay, God lets them be. Uh, they're going to get punished. Remember, it said right here. Um, can we find it again, Lord? The day of their calamity. There it is. Uh, verse 35. For the day of their calamity is at hand. They're going to get their punishment. I'm not saying God's not going to punish them, but on that spot, God's not going to punish them. But when they come against the people of Israel, His providence changes. He goes from letting them be. And they'll get theirs, their day of calamity's coming, to, I'm going to punish them right now. Vengeance is mine. Okay, Romans 12, 19. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourself, but rather give place unto wrath. For it is written, vengeance is mine, I will repay, saith the Lord. We just read there, vengeance is the Lord's. He will deal with them. Mm -hmm. So it's a change of providence. As long as they leave the Jewish people alone, they're, they're going to go to hell. But God's not going to be dealing with them because God's dealing with the Jewish people. They come against the Jewish people. Now, vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. He's going to deal with them. It's a change of providence. Okay. Let's go back to where the word was again. Here it is. Verse 36, For the Lord shall judge his people and repent himself for his servants. Okay? Judge his people. That's for the people who bring in false gods. He's going to repent that he made them servants, I believe, and he's going to put up new servants. Get rid of the old, bring in new that are good, uh, that do worship 
capital G God, not lowercase g gods. Capital R rock, not lowercase r rock. He's going to punish the people, that w the pagan people that worship their false gods, and anytime they mess with Israel. Vengeance is the Lord. Providence of dealing. When he repents, he's talking about how he's going to deal with people. First, he's, he's, being, he's blessing Israel. They turn to false gods. You read this throughout here. They turn to false gods. He's punishing them. I will bless you. Now I'm going to punish you. I'm going to change from that blessing to punishing you. Uh, you have kings that put away all the false gods. Uh, they leave up the high places. Then you have some that tear down the high places. And God go, changes from punishing them to blessing them. The change of providence. That's what repent means. You know, when the Lord repents. So, that's it for Deuteronomy. It was only mentioned once. So, I'll see you in the next one. Remember, God, when He repents, just because part another definition of repent is sorrow for sinning, doesn't mean that God's a sinner because He repents. It means He's changing what, how He's going to deal with people. Okay? Let Him be the lost world. They've got what's coming to them and focus on the saved. In this position, it's talking about the Jewish people. And when they come against the Jewish people, now he has to change he has to deal with them differently. Instead of letting them be, he's gonna punish those lost people. Jewish people, blessings. They turn against God, bring in false gods, punishment. He changes his dealings, his providence. Okay, it's how he deals with things, how God chooses to deal with things. So that's it for Deuteronomy. I'll see you in the next one. Next video, next book. <laughs>